All right, so as we, uh, as we start up here in section 2.5, we are using the sine and the cosine ratios to calculate lengths of right triangles. So if you recall, I'm going to zip back here, way back to tangent, and here's some, here's some tangent uh, questions where we used the tangent ratio to solve for unknown lengths, right? It's exactly the same thing, except we're going to have different ratio here. And this relationship is going to be a little bit different. So it's all stuff you've done before. So this will be a fairly brief lesson. Okay. All right. So we take a look at an example. And maybe you can jot this example down here. Triangle. And let's say that this angle C is 50 degrees. And I'm looking for, I'm looking for side A. Now, there's a couple things to notice. And a couple things I want to tell you about is that the side lengths of triangles are often the lowercase versions of the angles they are opposite. Okay, So side A, this is side A right here because it is opposite of angle A. The angles are always uppercase, capital letters, and the side lengths are lowercase. Another way to write this, lowercase a is one acceptable way, Another way to write this side length is like this, side B, C, and you use the angles there that, you know, here's an angle B over here, angle C over here, it's the side in between. So that's another way of writing, you know, this side length here. And usually you put a little line up, up there, it's a line segment to say that, hey, it's this section right here, okay? So you'll see me use both of those, you'll see both of those in the text. I would probably prefer to use a smaller case. So, it says, uh, basically, example one says find A. Okay, find A. Now, we have to consider what we're given and what we need to find. So, as we continue, as I teach you how to show your work properly, this drawing, this sketching the diagram, important. Okay, you should try and do this every, every question. Even if it's just a quick sketch, it doesn't have to be to scale or beautiful or anything. Sketch it out so you can see it. What are you given? Angle C is 50 degrees. Okay? Write that down. Usually, if you if the diagram is too complicated to draw, usually you're going to write this stuff down so you can actually see it somewhere, either on the diagram or here. But I'm just going to model this for you. B is 5.2 centimeters. Jot down what you are given. Okay? This is givens. Given. And what are you trying to find? Well, you're trying to find... Um, side A. Find A. So I usually do A equals question mark. So you know what you're missing. Okay. So what are you given? What are you, what are you trying to find? You should write down also, you should write down the uh, equation, right, or the formula relating them. So how are A, B, and C here related? What side is this? Right here hypotenuse, okay, what side is this, according to C, adjacent, okay, yeah, adjacent, so if we have adjacent and hypotenuse, which trig ratio relates those two, so katoa, ka, A-H, C-A-H, that is cosine, so cosine of 50 equals Adjacent divided by hypotenuse. Now we don't know A, so leave A as A. And then the hypotenuse is 5.2. Okay? So you must set up your question like this. Okay? Show the formula. Okay? Now I'm looking at some of you specifically because you're not showing your work properly on exams and assignments and stuff. Okay? So I want to make sure you get this picture. Now, to solve for A, this is an easy one. A is already in the numerator, so who remembers? How do we get A by itself here? What's the one simple operation? Yeah. Multiply both sides by 5.2. Very good. Why? Because A is being divided by 5.2. How do I undo division? Multiplication. That's the opposite. So you want to undo this division by multiplying. And, of course, it's an equation, so what you do to one side, you have to do to the other. So we end up with 5.2 <coughs> times 
times cos of 50, which we'll do in our calculator in a second, equals this 5.2 divided by this 5.2, right? These two together give you 1, so that means really they're eliminated like that, and this is what we have. So to quickly finish off on your calculator, all right, so the answer that I got here in my calculator, and you should have gotten as well, is 3.34249. So we, of course, can just go to the general rule is two decimal places, right? So 3.34. And um, am I okay to leave it like this, circle it like this, and this is my complete final answer? Is there anything I'm missing? Units, thank you very much. Units. So the units, of course, are going to be centimeters, right? Because that's the, that's the units that the uh, other length is in. So, there's your answer. So how could you check that answer if, you, if, if I asked you to show a check or a verification? How would you verify that this answer indeed is correct? Any ideas? Any ideas at all? I'll go, yeah, go ahead. Okay, yeah, you plug that answer into A and you do a check. So, Really, we would have cos of 50 degrees equals 3.34. Now, we've rounded this, so it's going to be just slightly off, maybe. But you want to make sure that this side equals this side, right? That's the whole bottom line. So if we just do that real quick here, 3.34 divided by 5.2, you can see that they are virtually identical, right, to the thousandth of a decimal place. So that's, that's, that's great. And obviously, we, we rounded this number here, see, 3.34. If you would have plugged this number exactly into there, it would have been all the same. So that's just a way you can check. All right. Now, I checked on my calculator earlier to see that I was in degrees. You probably won't have a calculator that looks just like this. No one has a graphing calculator I'm thinking here right now. But some of your calculators on the screen, okay, on the home screen, it may have at the top a D or an R or a G. You need to make sure that when you're working with these trigonometric functions that your calculator is in degrees just like I check mine it's in degrees please make sure on your calculator screen that it's in degrees problem okay you're gonna get a completely different answer if you type in sine of 30 if it's in R that stands for radians the calculator is thinking that you're using a different unit than degrees uh, okay if it says G Gradients, even worse. All right, so you want D. Is everyone understanding what I'm saying? Make sure your calculator is in degrees. This on your own, I will reveal the answer to you in a, a few seconds. So uh, find X, use the appropriate trig function, show your work. Okay, again, I do not want to just see the answer, I want to see the work shown. Okay, go ahead and do that right now. Give it a shot. If you get the wrong answer, we'll correct it. So, go ahead. This is sort of the minimum work that I'm looking for. Okay, this is the minimum. Um, 52 degrees is the angle in question. X is opposite of that. Okay, opposite. 4 is the hypotenuse. Because it's opposite the 90 degree. So, we have OH. Which trig function? SOH in SOHCAHTOA. So, we're using sine. Sine of 52 equals X divided by 4. <coughs> Multiply 4 by both sides. You get x equals 4 times sine of 52. 3.15 centimeters. Circle it. Done. Good? Okay. Question? <coughs> 